Hello and welcome to this CAVCO tutorial where we are going to take in just a straight photographic image and turn it into a 3D relief. So all you do is you take your subject matter, drag and drop it straight into the window in CAVCO. and it will automatically so in actual fact oh, I'll alter the size just very very slightly here and I would need this to be 750 and the width in X will automatically change um, we do not want to put anything into the Z because we want to create a 3D image with the powerful tools in Kafka. Bottom left hand corner for a st our start position or our work position start is fine. That's pretty normal for a CNC router and we are working in millimeters. So I'm going to press OK. I'm going to go full screen. Now we see a dark grey and white image here but within this image there is over 200 colours which are indicated by the little squares down the bottom of the screen here I'll just scroll through and you can see that there are many many squares so what we need to do is reduce the colours down to two colours so Kavco knows exactly what colour we want to trace around and that's done with a very simple tool called bitmap to vector now there's a couple of things we need to do here to enable Kavco or to assist Kavco to know exactly what we want it to do so we want it to reduce the colors down to two colors and we just pull this slider bar down and we've reduced it to two colors now the primary, let's just um, apply that. The primary color is the one overlaid over the secondary color and in this case we do want it to trace around the black and it's indicated here too that uh, the black is the primary color. Now speckle size, now what that indicates is is pixel size. In other words, each one of these little squares that would be here is a pixel. And what we're saying here is ignore two pixels or less. Okay, so and you know, two so we're telling it to ignore two pixels. In other words, don't draw around it. The smoothness at 75%, this is a fairly normal figure. If you set this down to 1%, well, it would try and follow all around all these boxes. We don't want that. In actual fact, we want to we want curve coat to round everything up. So we're just going to press create. And if you notice here, it's evened out everything out. It's taken an average of the dimension and made a very, very nice job of tracing around this screen so really that's all we have to do now we take these vectors and we use a very powerful tool called a shape editor to make this into a three-dimensional screen or relief for our CNC router to machine out. So what I'm going to do is going to go to the round. I want it rounded. Okay, I want the relief to be rounded, but I want it semi-flat on the top. So we're going to give it a limit. And we're going to limit the height to 8 millimeters. And we're going to raise this up a little bit more. Not too much. That's fine. And as I'm 
altering this. Cavco is actually doing it in the background. It's actually making the relief in the background. Um, straight sides, I... Do you know what I'm going to put? I'm going to put two millimeters there. So in other words, it's going to come up straight two millimeters. And then be rounded. So in other words, it's going to be straight here, two millimeters. Then rounded and have a semi-flat top. Which makes those birds look a little bit more realistic. Having a little bit of a flat there. Does it make it look, you know, it makes it look quite presentable, I think. To have these sort of flat areas right on the top, on the peak. And strategic areas. Like as, you know, like on these birds here. Yeah, I think that's more practical for us. So we're going to we, we're going to apply that. Okay, so with that applied, we can remove that and we can go straight into the tool pass to machine this. Now, we're going to machine this whole piece with one tool. So we go here, tool pass. We're going to choose a 3D strategy. We're going to machine the whole relief and we're going to do it with one tool and we're going to go straight in for the finishing operation. We're going to choose a six millimeter ball mill for this. Select it. But we're going to modify the standard settings. 0 0.65 millimeter step over is fine. Step down, well, we want 10. 10 millimeters maximum. Feed rate. Now, I have an industrial CNC 6090 router with a 2.2 kilowatt. And I know that my router will have no problem machining this at 60 millimeters a second. And I normally put the Z actuation at 50% of the, the uh, normal running feed. But to enable us to cut with a 6mm at these speeds, we need to raise the RPM up. And in my case, it would be 20,000 RPM. Tool number one is fine. I don't have a tool changer on my machine. Normal raster, in other words, it's going to go back and forth in, in the X, and it's going to start in this bottom corner here. Leading moves, I don't, in, in this sort of job, I don't use a lead in move uh, because what I will do is in Mark 3, I normally start a job up like this at about 20%. So it's very controlled. The, the router is going to come in here, go down slowly, and then start to go back and forth. And when I see everything's going okay, I'll take it up to 100% of feed rate. Safe home, 12 millimeters, that's okay. Let's set the material up. Material is already... Actually, Kafka has taken over and it's calculated already that the material thickness should be a minimum of 10 millimeters, which is absolutely fine. And the start position is on the top of the block. Um, this is all fine, so we press OK. So we will label it. Um, test two and we're going to calculate now and we have a lot of red there there's a lot of tool paths there 
So now we've we can dispense with the tool pass and we can go straight into simulate this and we're going to simulate it rather fast don't need to change anything else simulate and press go So all we need to do now is to save the tool pass. So what you can also do, I mean this is a bit plain in black and white at the moment, you can, if you have a customer that you want to if you have a customer that you want to sort of in, impress and, and send them through a picture of their finished item you can actually pick other um, things that you want to um, send it in or you can mo actually modify the the color of this too and the lighting And let's have a look here. Yes. So you can alter the filters to suit what uh, you know what your preference is. Try a bit of bronze. So you can play around with um, all sorts of uh, different mediums and lighting. Well, that's a bit too bright. Probably a bit better. Okay. So, I hope you've liked the tutorial today. Please press like and subscribe to my channel. And it's bye for now.